What's going on? Welcome back to another video. So the Champions League is dropping tomorrow and I think my most exciting thing, the most exciting thing for me about this promo is we have a prime icon, Frank De Boer, which if you do not remember this, I mean it was like 1998, but uh, this was definitely one of the most exciting uh, moments of football that I watched here was when Frank De Boer puts it from half to Dennis Bergkamp who takes it and puts it in the back of the net in the World Cup uh, 1998. Uh, but man, what a moment for that. If you haven't seen it, you should go and look that up because it's an incredible thing. Frank DeVore! Frank DeVore! Dennis Bergkamp! Dennis Bergkamp! Something like that. Uh, anyways, uh, we got the Champions League promo going on right now. So we got the guide that dropped for it. Uh, and there's some very interesting changes that are going on uh, with this promo. And the first one, I got to scroll to the very bottom here, uh, is the spoiler, which apparently I've already un I've spoiled it. Hold on. Let me unspoil this for a second. There you go. Now you don't know what the spoiler was unless you read it and paused the video at that point. But we have uh, this thing about the uh, players in this event. So they listen to feedback uh, and are aware that the current state of the market is not up to our expectations. Uh, during Team of the Year, our last event, the community is frustrated with the difficulty of selling players and they're committed to improving that, which is great. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. Although I do think that there were some pauses towards the end. I was able to buy some players, sell some players at the end of Team of the Year. Um, but uh, UCL players are going to be split between uh, auctionable players and non-auctional players. So auctional UCL players are claimed via the exchanges and the store, and non-auctional UCL players are the ones that are going to be claimed uh, from the main chapter and the reward path. So you can use the non-auction players in the exchanges to get auctionable players. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this sort of uh, impacts thing in this promo, uh, if it helps, if it makes it worse. Uh, honestly, I feel like it's one of those ones where I really feel like just waiting and seeing how it works in the promo before it is done. The nice thing is we've got the Road to Glory account where you can kind of see how it is uh, for, you know, free to play players, new free to play players, and then the account where we're just gonna uh, spend as much money as we need to get that uh, Frank the Boer card. <laughs> and, and Ronaldinho. I guess I should not uh, count on the fact we also have a 112 Ronaldinho, which looks absolutely insane. I just got really caught up in the fact I don't think Frank the Boer has been in a FIFA mobile promo. I didn't even know he was on FIFA console, to be honest, and, and maybe isn't. We have had some uh, that haven't been on the console side as well, so I'm very interested to see that card uh, there, but uh, basically I, I think this will be the biggest thing about this, is kind of waiting to see what this looks like in there, you know, with the unauctional players. Because it kind of just seems to me like those players that we grinded for, you know, those uh, 99, 100 overall players will just be unauctional, which I don't really know what the point of that is. I don't know how that's going to change things. Maybe the fact you can't buy them on the market will make it so there'll be less uh, higher players. I don't know. Uh, anyways, it'll be interesting to see how it works in game. I don't see it making a big difference uh, if the lower players are unauctional or the higher players are auctionable, but I could be wrong. Uh, anyways... If we scroll up here, we'll go through everything we got about this promo, uh, let you know kind of the different things that are going on in this. The only thing that is uh, missing from this, we see it starts tomorrow on March 30th, but we don't see when it ends. So unsure how long this promo is going to go for, uh, which means it's going to be very difficult to kind of calculate everything you can get uh, out of this promo in terms of, you know, free-to-play rewards, those kind of things. Also, we don't know what kind of uh, offers we'll have on the market and stuff like that too. So a few things missing that will make it easier for us to know what you can get out of the promo, but this is what we have here. So one of the coolest things I think about this promo uh, other than Frank DeBoer obviously uh, is the road to the final player so during the UEFA Champions League event you're going to be able to uh, you'll be able to include road to the final players on your team these players, uh, every club in the UCL quarterfinals has five of them, uh, and there's 40 of them in total. And these players, um, when they upgrade to the next stage, they're going to get a plus one overall. So if you played in the earlier seasons or if you played on console, very similar to what we had there where you get a boost of the player each time they progress through the round. So I'm not sure what their starting overall is. Uh, we might be able to see the players are up on FIFA Render, so we might be able to check out uh, what some of their starting overalls are going to be from there. But basically, if they qualify for the semifinals, they get a plus one. Qualify for the final, they get a plus one. And then if they win the final, they get another plus one overall. So potentially, uh, depending on what they started, like if they're a 109 player, uh, you could be getting yourself up to 112 overall player uh, from the upgrades if they end up winning. And it'll be interesting to see how we get that. Like, do we get it? Everybody gets it. Is it a specific exchange you're going to try and do to like pick the players you want so you can kind of choose which players you invest in. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to work from there. I didn't see a ton about that, but it will be interesting to see kind of how that goes there. So anyways, uh, the basic event flow is play the skill games and matches uh, and then take on the weekly uh, player versus player road to the championship in the main chapter. The only big downside of this for me, uh, I've already looked at this part, it is verse attack only. It is not head to head, uh, which I don't love. I do miss out anytime we don't have head to head uh, in a event, but uh, 
that is an interesting thing that is a pvp uh match that you can play there as well uh, and then we can spend the UCL points to claim rewards on the path uh, and complete the milestone using the tokens and then trading UCL players in the exchange to trade up for UCL players of higher overall. Then we also have the challenge mode, which we've had in previous events that you can kind of go through there. Uh, and then these are the three currencies that we have, the points, the trophies, and the tokens. So basically in the main chapter, uh, you uh, get a 106 plus UCL player uh, from completing 15 skill games or matches. So again, I'm interested in this. Is that an unauctionable player that we get there? Uh, because you can also get 106s from the exchanges too. So be interesting what we get from that one uh but you get a 106 overall ucl player from that and you're gonna get that weekly so again it depends on how many weeks this event is of how many players you can get but we're at least get a 106 plus player uh each week of this promo which i feel like is gonna make some big differences to a lot of squads uh especially kind of the newer overall squads you know like our road to glory account a uh, 106 could make a pretty big difference depending on what position it's gonna be in but uh, anyways the daily activities this is very new, and so what happens here is there's seven different types of skill games, and uh, you unlock two options daily by claiming uh, random UCL match keys. So it sounds like basically depending on uh, you know the day you might get a different one, I would get something different than someone else playing this game, I'll get something different on one account than the next account, and they give you different uh, matches and stuff that are going to unlock from there. Now, if you claim the UCL match key one, that means you can only play skill game number one, and if you lose, you're not going to receive a, tr uh, a second try. Uh, so what's interesting there is, is the match keys if we get two per day and there is only um there's not seven like or there is seven there's seven different matches so i don't know if that means that you could potentially get two days of each one so you get two tries at it or it's literally like one try and then you're not getting the points from that one but uh basically the rewards here five ucl points 20 ucl points and a 101 player 30 and a 103 player 15 and 100 plus player 12 and 100 training transfer which is nice i'm glad we get training transfer in there uh eight ucl and then 10 uh of the ucl points and 100 plus uh uh, UCL player from there and then we have the road to the championship uh, and in the road to the championship This is where we basically play through reverse attack and PvP to get to the final and it says you have to win both of them uh, Until you get to the final so you have to win the verse attack and the PvP and it says you get 15 tickets But each one of these as you can see here It costs one for the group stage one for the round of 16 and one for the quarterfinals So the nice thing about that four tickets here, but we do get I think 15 tickets to start the campaign um, I'm hoping that that a oh, weekly 15 so weekly 15 so it does look like you have a few losses that you can do if you need to um, based on the fact that I'm assuming you would go in here and go through it the only one I don't know is whether or not it resets does it say like you can play through it multiple times win the final and bring home the UCL trophy which you can use towards not 109 players it doesn't say whether or not you can reset it each time you do it but I mean maybe it's possible that you would be able to do it again um, to once you've beaten it one time uh, no limit of one UCL win all your matches to get one UCL trophy and there's one UCL trophy for each week so it's possible you can get the other rewards multiple times but only the UCL trophy uh one time and it is highlighted here so it is possible then maybe that you can repeat it uh as many times as you need to or like three or four times whatever you would get based on the tickets you get so be interested to see what happens kind of with there but you get some UCL points some players uh and then the UCL trophy where three of those will get you Rudiger or uh, Harry Kane, a 109 overall uh, card for that. So it's kind of nice to get a 109 overall card for three. Um, so I'm assuming that means we at least get three weeks of this promo. But again, it'll be interesting to see... Um from there uh, how many kind of uh, players we're gonna get how many weeks we're gonna have from the promo there because it's potential then that you could get like one or two of these players uh, if it's kind of six weeks or above in this promo uh, or if there's other ways to get the the trophies from there um, so the reward path complete cycles of the rewards and earn UCL tokens every time you complete a full circle exchange these tokens for UCL players uh, at, in the milestones uh, so basically each one of these is gonna ca cost you 60 UCL points the cool thing about this that's a little bit different though is you can actually get them back and I don't know if it's gonna be a high chance low chance of getting them back but you do have a chance of getting them back as you go through and i'm assuming you kind of just keep going around in circles uh each time you do a, a full circle um every time you and earn ucl tokens every time you complete a full circle exchange ucl tokens uh for players yeah so every time you go there you get one ucl token every time you complete a rotation around there which is going to cost you what is it 60 or 600 600 points and i think you get something like 450 points or something uh each week so you can almost do one complete Complete rotation of this each week, which gets you 100 players, 300 transfers. So good to see the transfer in there. 101 UCL players, 200,000 coins, 102 plus UCL players, 103 plus UCL players, 300,000 coins, and then the token. And the tokens, uh, that's where you're going to be able to do the milestones here and redeem the UCL players, including road to the final players. Uh, and you can complete nine milestones to earn 110 overall event icon Frank Lampard. Now, 
the interesting thing about this so actually there you go we can see it now you get the road to the final players and you do have a choice it looks like we have a choice in milestone one of one of these three players i'd assume you only get to pick one of the three players uh but maybe you do go through all three of those but the fact this is milestone one and then there's a break in milestone two makes me feel like you get one choice out of those then one out of the next milestone but i could be wrong it could end up being that you get all three of them because this one is the only one that's unlocked so not sure how that's going to kind of work or if you have to get all three to finish the first milestone whatever that is um but i'd also be interested in how much these are going to cost we don't see how much these rewards are going to cost us uh in terms of the points that we would need to spend there's also two different currencies here uh, where are my two different currencies it's showing? It's showing the UCL points and the UCL tokens. Uh, so not again, not 100% sure what it's going to take uh, to get those. Let's see that one that kind of goes in game. But I'm hoping that we'd be able to get the 110 event overall uh, icon, uh, Frank Lampard, by playing well in the tournament and those kind of things as well. Uh, then we got the player exchange. Here's where we can change in the UCL players uh, that we don't really want anymore. Those unauctional players that we end up getting uh, that talked about lower for auctional UCL players and icon players of a guaranteed higher overall. So the nice thing about this, in the previous promo, if you did the exchanges, you know you put in a 102 and a uh, 101 and you end up getting a 101 or a 102 back. Now you actually get a 103 uh, to a 105 for, a one, for your 102 cards. 106 to 107 if you take 6 of the 105s. A 108 if you put in 8 of the 107s. A 109 if you put three of the 108s and a 110 event or prime icon if you put in one of uh, six of the 109s and then 111 overall prime icon uh, gets you from two of them and then 112 overall prime icon for three of the 111 uh, UCL event icon or prime icon so kind of interesting there when you're trading in for there then we have the challenge mode just like we've had before that you can kind of go in grind the challenge mode uh, get your different points uh, not a ton you only get 56 of the points from there um, of the UCL points so not a lot of UCL points that you're going to get out of that one uh, and which makes me kind of feel that uh you know there's not a lot of points going through this would be very interesting to see how many runs we can actually go through with this token because if you can if you can't get a lot of these points and you can only run through this like one time like or two times or whatever like how many points are these actually going to be worth because i don't see any other way to get the token so a lot of this i feel like would be very interesting when it actually drops in game we can see what we need to do in here um i i'm I'm optimistic that it will be good. I mean, there's a lot of things in here which could be either really good or really bad, depending on how it actually plays out when the when the promo starts. I think that's going to be the big kind of deciding of there. Uh, but some interesting concepts in here. I do like doing exchanges. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I like the idea of the reward path. This item seems like a cool way to do it, like going around in circles in the reward path, maybe getting your points back as you need them as well. And I, I mean, I do like the PvP uh, match thing. I just don't love this verse stack. I wish it would have been head to head, uh, but uh, that is kind of cool. And I like the skill game thing. I think like mixing it up each day, uh, everybody kind of doing different daily activities is kind of cool. I'm, I'm worried about the fact that if you lose, you don't get the points. Uh, but other than that, I think it's kind of nice. But uh, anyways, let's look at the players here because the players uh, are also very exciting. Okay, so we can see see here uh we got all of the different players i love this uh this card art by the way so we have uh frank lampard here uh he's the first one here the 110 frank lampard card but i love the event icon card art here uh that we have from this one so we just pull all these cards up on fever renders uh you can go to the site too if you want to look at them yourself uh but uh, i mean he's got some good stats uh his physical 113 uh defending on there so i mean he's got he's got decent stats but uh, i don't know that he's gonna be um over and above with it although we can look at him can we upgrade him let's do this yeah I mean, max rated, he doesn't have anything over and above. I mean, he does have 202 short passing, uh, does have 188 long shot, 189 reactions. Uh, so, I mean, he should be a pretty good card. He only has three-star skill moves, though, so I'm not super into that. But And medium, medium work rate. So, I don't know he's going to be the best card, which means he probably will be free to play. And then you can see here we got Coleman in there, uh, another good looking card there. Uh, some good stats, uh, 145 defending, 132 physical, 116 pace. I mean, he's another card that can kind of play all, all over the pitch for you, which is nice. Um, so definitely gonna look forward to getting that card. But like in general, I love, love, love the look of some of these cards uh, that we have here. Man, Perez, 144 pace on that Perez card too. Uh, looking very good from there. Uh, Ashley Cole looks like a really good defender. I'm interested, 180, he's got 180 pace. I mean, not bad. 180 pace, 175 agility, 157 uh, dribbling. So a pretty decent card there on Ashley Cole. Frank DeBoer. Uh, I mean, I am definitely excited about this card. I want to put him at max level and see how he uh, how he looks stat wise. We go to max level, 193 defending, 136 uh, on the passing, 154 on the physical, 134 on the pace. Only medium medium work rate. So I don't know that he's actually going to be a great card in game, uh, but definitely a card I want to try and add to the team. 
And then uh, a few more cards that we got from here. We got uh, Rio Costa, Hugo Sanchez. Oh, I'm back on the top of that one. We oh, yeah, this is going to be another nice card. 141 pays, too. Uh, Vandersar, we finally get a good uh, Vandersar uh, Prime Icon card. It's been a little while since so we got that. We got Raul in there as well. Xavi Alonso. Uh, Vidich, another new Vidich card, which could be pretty nice. And then Ronaldinho, uh, which, I mean, he's going to be the... He's probably going to be the top card of this promo right now uh, as we look at this and rank him up to max rank here let's see what he got 189 pace 185 uh agility 117 physical 170 shooting uh he's got high attacking work rate he's got five star skill moves five star weak foot so i think it'll be a good card uh to add to the team i don't know if he's going to be any better than any of the kind of 112 ultimate team of the year cards but he does look like he'll be a fun card to add and ronaldinho is definitely one of those cards that i feel like in game always plays very well for you Whoa, and then we got one more here. Uh, we got Effenberg out of this one. So another nice new card that we got out of here. Uh, he does not have... I mean, his stats are all right. He's got pretty good all-around stats. What is his work rates looking like? He's got medium, medium work rate, which is not the greatest, but he does have dives and tackles, which would be kind of nice. So I think he's going to be a pretty good center mid card, honestly, uh, once you get him ranked up and everything like that. And then we have just all of our uh, cards that we have here. So we have... Uh, I love the card. This is my favorite card out, actually. Uh, on the card comes from those cards. Uh, we have the Europa League cards as well. Uh, I actually really like the Europa League cards. I feel like that's a big improvement on the card art from last season, too. Ooh, Martinelli, too. We have a Martinelli card. I like that. Uh, Martinelli with some good pace, some good agility. Uh, I think that will be a nice card. We got some good Arsenal cards here. All right, then we also have all of these uh, new cards that we have here for the Champions League. So all our Champions League cards going in here. Hazard in there, 105s, uh, 108 Valverde out of there too. I'm interested too. Actually, you see two different card arts. So here, hold on. I have a feeling that Carvajal is the road to the final card because it looks like different card art than before. And it says down here, UCL 23 live. So I'm wondering if this is our uh, road to the final card. We'll see what it says in the other one. Oh, no, this says the same thing. Never mind. Okay. I don't know. I feel like it's got to be the road to the final, but these could be. So I don't know which ones are going to be our road to the final cards, which ones aren't, but uh, we'll see. Jeez, there are so many cards here. Uh, so I think based on how many cards you have for each one, uh, these are going to be our road to the final cards, which means we got some 108s and stuff. Oh, we saw some of them in the in the guide, so we do know which ones we're going to have from there. So lots of cards that we have here uh, going out from this one. So a ton, a ton, a ton uh, of new cards added to the team, which is kind of exciting there. Uh, so I am excited to see what we're going to get out of this promo. Make sure to come and stop by tomorrow as we check this out in full detail. But it's been a pleasure as always. Thanks for checking this out and stopping by stock teeth.